Word, man. So look, we back at it again with another crazy video for y'all. Now, before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big favor. Go down below in the comment section and answer the poll question of the day. So today, poll question of the day. Now, I know I did one poll question. It said, what was the worst mistake you made in your life? But today, we're going to switch up just, just a little bit. All right, so I want to know, what was one of the best decisions you done made in your life? Let me know in the comment section below. Me, personally, one of the best decisions I done made in my life was following Christ. I believe that was one of the best decisions I made in my life, especially at a young age. Usually, people find uh, God at, like, you know 40 50 when they're like later in life but i found them at 18 so you know it's just i'm just glad i did that that's probably one of the best decisions i made in my life y'all let me know what y'all best decision was in the comment section below without further ado hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications follow your boy on ig what is y'all doing man follow your boy on ig without further ado let's get into it man you know, all that black hair all that black eyeliner okay. mm -hmm. and that's like wait what what she just say all that black hair, all that black eyeliner, but she'll face. And that's why she passed. I think I do anything. Is there another bathroom? Everything you have to I'm sorry. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. It's too much going. It's all it's already too much going on. It's too much going on. Number one, what does the black eyeliner and black hair have to do with anything? What what does that have to do with anything? Number two, did this woman just ask, is there another bathroom on a spirit airline? In no way she just asked that. In no way. It's no way she just asked that. I, I'm more mad at the fact she asked that than the woman that's talking about black hair and eyeliner. Huh? What made you in your right mind just let that come out your mind? Is there another? It's spirit, honey. It's one. I don't even think it's. I don't. Even, I think it's one bathroom on every airplane. I don't think it's two. And if it is, y'all let me know. I only be on one, and that's Southwest. But spirit. I know they only got one bathroom. No cheap flights. They can't afford another bathroom, build another bathroom in the plane. Come on, baby. Come on. I knew common sense wasn't so common, but God dang. Y'all see how she the lady doing me? Look, look, and then she coming. Look, the all I'm trying to do is use the bathroom. Then watch, the bathroom. watch. The lady, the lady is getting aggressive with me. You're not listening. I'm not a child. Well, I'm grown. I'm she trying to use the bathroom. The lady is coming. I see the bathroom. Door, now Maybe. she needs to use get to her door. Can I get to my bathroom? No. No. What do I gotta listen to? No, I was blocking you. What I gotta listen to? Are you my boss? You are white privilege. You're not my boss. Sit down. Sit down. You. Oh, thank you. You're not my boss. I need to. And you're not my boss. No, 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 no. Here we go. We talking about this white privilege thing again. We talking about it again. Dog, where do y'all get this white privilege from? I am so confused. I'm so confused by her telling you to go. You tell. You're basically sitting here. You got to go to the bathroom. I don't know if anybody in the bathroom, but normally if somebody's in the bathroom on a plane. Well, I know from the experience I done had on airplanes, you just go sit back down. You feel me? Uh, but you over here just standing up and not going to the bathroom. She said, then go to the bathroom. You say, are you my boss on you? You just say you had to go to the freaking bathroom. You just go to the bathroom. Like, you, making, you making it something when it has to be nothing at all. <laughs> Seriously. The woman trying to get past you blocking you, bro. You on spirit. You on a spirit airline right now. And the planes is like this. You, you have no room to move. The woman trying to get past. She said, excuse, excuse me. You ain't get out the way. If it was me, I would have grabbed you by your wig and just get your, get your man. <sighs> this is what I mean. Holy Spirit be working in me. Some, I, look, I'm still human now, but jeez. You're white privilege. Oh, sit down. Yes. You don't have privilege over me. Oh, I don't. Thank you. So you have privilege. I mean, no, but all of a sudden you gotta go back here. So you wait for me to get to my okay. bathroom and have respect for me like you've been having. Call them now. She, she don't have white privilege, but you just wait, hold on. You just you just said a few minutes ago that she's not your boss. And she can't talk to you anyway. You're not a child. But you could talk to them any type of way. Talking about you wait till I go to the bathroom to get girl, who is who are you? Who 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 has the real privilege here, baby? Because it ain't the white people. It seems like it's you. It, like, who has the real privilege? You sound like a clown right now. A straight goofy. 
Uh, yeah, my, uh. I already know this video gonna make me mad. I, I already know. I may not even finish the video. Y'all know how I get, man. When I watch them, I may not finish it. I don't know, bro. It's five minutes long. I don't know, but come on. For me to get to my bathroom and have respect for me like you've been having. Call them now. Call them. I need Call to get them. to my door. Good. And I need to get to my bathroom. So you write and respect people. You have white privilege and it's not here. It's over with. It's 2020. Yes, it is. Wake up. You got a mask on. Yes, I do. So you're under the government too. You're confined. And you don't have white privilege anymore. I'm a queen. California. Mm -hmm. She was from a black queen. Okay, well, I need You to don't talk to because you felt so privileged that you gotta get in somebody else and tell them you're not listening. I don't have to listen to you. Then go to the bathroom. You don't go to you don't run annoying. me. You go to the bathroom. You shut up and stay in your lane. Okay. You have nothing to do with this little girl. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Listen to your mama. She should have told. I know you don't care. You so grown. Ma'am, I need to get to my door. Okay, and thank you. And I need to get to the bathroom. Like I said, y'all don't run people. You don't run America. You run yourself. So get off your little mentality that you better than somebody because you're not. Thank you. Yeah, huh? That's what I say. See this little shit right here? This whole little mentality. But you need to understand, you don't run America no more. Everyone seated at this so, time. That shit over Take your you. police. Oh, you don't run me. And guess what? When I was 14, they said, oh, you people are so disliked. I slapped the shit out that white bitch when she told me that all y'all white people is. What the man? What, what is going on? I thought you had to use the bathroom, woman. Just go to the freaking bathroom. This, the whole bathroom thing turned to a racist rant. Like, what is going on here? I'm watching too much. You. you Number one, the woman already asked, is there another bathroom that she can go to on the Spirit Airline? No one did. That was a dumb question to begin with. Number two, you talking about you, white people don't run America, which you are right. But still, it's just a simple fact of what is this white privilege thing coming from? You talking about their privilege, they're this, they don't run you, they don't do this, they don't do that. Woman, it seems like you're talking more aggressive to them than they are to you. They just telling you, go use the bathroom. You had to pee 30 minutes ago. Just go use the bathroom. I'm so confused. And I know ain't nobody in that bathroom because ain't no way somebody in that bathroom taking that long. They must have ate some, they must have ate five stacks of pancakes or something if somebody's in that bathroom taking that long. Just go use the bathroom. I'm just confused on why did this become a racist rant? You talking about all this nonsense, all this stuff that doesn't matter, bro. All this stuff that doesn't matter. Grow up. You almost look like you about 45, 50 years old and you talking like a kid, bro. This is what I mean by you can be older. You can be older physically, but mentally you could be like a little kid. You acting like a child right now. A straight child. All this for over what? Over what? You have to go use the potty. You still haven't used the potty yet. I'm just waiting on you to go to the bathroom to shut up talking. Seriously. Because everything that's coming out your mouth just sound very, 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 very stupid. Say. And that's how I got off that bus in Richmond, California. So you can think all you want to. All y'all people is all the same. That's what y'all teach in your house. But black people don't teach that hate in our house. You need to understand that. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. All right. <laughs> what? Did you just say that black people don't teach hate? You just said that, but you're doing, you, you're showing a lot of it, baby. You showing a lot of hate for black people to not teach hate me. Oh my gosh. Well, who is her mama? Who who is this woman's mama, bro? Her mama should be ashamed. Ashamed. Did you literally just say black people don't teach hate? But you're showing a lot of hate. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. A lot of people in the black community, they want to play victim so much. So much. Want to play victim so much. You talking about this is year 2020, they don't run America, this, blah, 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 this and that, this and that. A whole bunch of nonsense that does not matter. Does not, does not matter at all. Seriously. I mean, oh my, man. Yeah, we don't teach hate in our house. We don't teach hate in our house. You showing a lot of hate for y'all not to teach hate. You need to understand that, yeah. Yeah, we don't teach hate in our house. Y'all teach hate in your house. Y'all narcissists. But you ain't gonna play that shit with me, yes. Because I'm not a slave. I never came from Africa. I'm an indigenous person okay, to this country. Cool. You shut up. Let me tell you instead of your, what your mama taught you. 
Let me tell you the truth. I'm the queen in this motherfucker. You understand me? You came from my color. Black make every color. You understand me? Black make every color. Young people are going extinct. And that's why you're mad. You can't procreate. That's what eugenics was about. That's what eugenics, the Darwin theory, because y'all know the truth. I've been waiting to say this. I've been waiting to say this all my life. You're mad because only black people have the genes to procreate. Bro, she's making me so mad right now, bro. I'm trying to keep my composure because I got to realize this is just a video. I'm reacting to it. This woman is on in front of me. But she's making me so freaking mad, bro. How can you say that you the queen and this be? This ain't queen activity, baby. This is ghetto activity. This is I don't have no home training activity. This ain't no queen activity. You not the queen of nothing. You are not the queen of nothing. You don't run anything talking to these people with disrespect. They ain't say nothing disrespectful to you. And you just coming at them with so much disrespect. So much disrespect. So much racism. So much everything, bro. She didn't call you a narcissist. She didn't say none of that. She didn't say none of that. She didn't say that you was black privilege. She didn't say none of that. But you come at these white people with so much anger in your heart. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand why so many black people have so much anger in their heart towards white people. These white folks ain't worried about y'all. Y'all need to stop playing victim and get out. Y'all need to get y'all pennies out of a bunch and get over it. Get over it. Seriously. You talking all this nonsense, all this bull that don't make sense. It does not. Everything you saying it's just not, it's, it's nothing, it's irrelevant. It's literally irrelevant. I've been waiting my whole life to say this. Dang, girl, you talking like you 80, 90 years old. And if you are, you acting like this, you need help. You need serious help. They need to put you in a mental, a mental hospital. This ain't cool. This ain't queen behavior. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, bro. Embarrassing coming from my own people. Embarrassing. Why can't we all just love one another? Seriously, why can't we all just love one another? What happened to you having to pee? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You've been having to pee. What, what happened to that? You still haven't peed. I'm confused. We need to love one another. We need to stop this hatred in America and love one another. It don't matter what the, what the white people ancestors done did. Because at the end of the day, the same, the same thing that white people done did back in the days of slavery and all that. It was black slave owners. It was all that, bro. It was all that. It don't matter no more. It don't. Y'all need to stop holding this racism word to a, to a thing. I need to stop holding this above everything. Everything is not just racist, 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 racist. Just stop. What you saying right now, bro, nobody cares about it. Seriously. Seriously, I'm being be honest. I don't care about what none, none that you saying. I just want you to go to the bathroom and shut up talking. For real. I don't want to talk about hate and talk about all that. How can you talk about hate but you showing hate? I, what? And y'all know the truth. You come from me. A black person can make any color in Africa white with blue eyes and blonde hair just like you. Have a twin. One my color and one your color. It's called Esau and Jacob. You be quiet. Them, yeah, for real. Then you say that they don't run you but you can run and I got the promise to my people and you mad because the promise is coming you understand me you'll never you can take me to jail you're mad go ahead now let me let let me let my people know the truth on this motherfucker Esau and Jacob you mad because the promise is coming to my people and you think we stole the birthright but it's yo shut up bitch it's coming to us it's coming to us boy I would boy I would instantly I would have forgot I was Christian for a moment. I swear, boy, you, you think you rust? You just caught it. You just caught it. You just. Oh my gosh, boy, I, I, I can't, I can't. Oh my gosh, dude, dude. I mean. This is what they say. This is what they mean when they say it all starts in the household. Literally, everything she's saying right now started in the household. Started in the household. It had to. No way you can just get up on a, on a flight. Uh, first of all, you talking about you a queen, this and that, but you arguing with flight attendants. 
You arguing with people that you probably not going to see in the next minute or so. But you're a queen, right? This ain't queen activity, honey. Then you just called this woman out her name. B, shut up. Who, who are you, bro? Who are you? Seriously, who are you? You're a nobody. You're just another person that's living on this earth with so much hatred in your heart towards white people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Us. You understand me? You can't do nothing about it. That's why y'all so mad. But this whole Corona shit is all about is that God is coming back to his people. And I don't give a damn. He's playing. And when he comes, y'all got to get this racist shit out of here. Because if you don't, you can't accept the Lord Jesus Christ. What the? What? I just lost brain cells. Oh my God. Did she just go from speaking hate to talking about God to talking about we need to stop this racism? Baby, you the only person on the plane doing racism. You the only person that's giving that that's being racist. How can you put God, racism, hate all in one in all in one sentence? How can you even do that? How can you just go from Talking bad and talking down on white people. You talking about all this and that, but then you uplifting your own self. Talking about I'm the queen and this, I'm doing it, I did it. Like what? Then you then you go say God is coming back for his people. God is coming back for his people. That is that is totally true. Jesus will be coming back. That is true. But you talking about we need to stop this racism, bro. You the only one that's doing. Oh my man, I just lost so much brain cells listening to that woman speak. We got two minutes left in this video. I'm gonna try to get through the video. I promise, I'm gonna try. But this woman is really irritating my soul. How, like, how can you even say something? Hmm, okay. Okay. And I don't give a damn. That's what it's all about. Because he looks like you and he looks like me. That's what he looks like. I'm tired of it. She gonna get it. They think I got so much. That's what he looks like. Because he looks like Jesus Christ. And I don't give a damn. That's what it's all about. Because he looks like you and he looks like me. That's what he looks like. I'm tired of it. I hate when people bring up the grace and the color of Jesus because my whole thing is I don't care what color he is. I don't care if he was white, Hispanic, green, orange. I don't care. I love Jesus because he's Jesus. He did. He sacrificed his life, got on that cross to die for our sins. We shouldn't care about what color skin he is. Does it matter if he black, white, Hispanic? Does it matter? Does it truly matter? We don't. We would never know. That's the thing with human beings. Y'all feel like y'all know everything, but y'all don't. Nobody would truly know the real color or the real skin skin color of Jesus. No matter how much research you do, we don't even know how Jesus look. We don't even know how he look. Nobody knows how he look. That painting right there that I have on the wall, that painting right there, that's not Jesus. That's another man. I don't even know. I didn't see. I didn't think about that before behind it. Okay. I'm just thinking. I'm now thinking about that. But that's another man. That's another man. That is not Jesus. Nobody knows how Jesus look. So y'all need to stop this whole Jesus is this race, Jesus is that race. Nobody will truly know. Nobody truly. Y'all all go off the book of Revelation where it stated that um his feet was like bronze. It was something like that. I forgot the actual verse, uh, but it was in Revelation. Okay, and I know that for a fact. I believe it was in Revelation. But nobody, I don't care what color Jesus is. I don't care. <laughs> When he come back, he's not just coming back for blacks. He's not just coming back for whites. He's not just coming back from the Egyptians. He's not coming back for nothing. He come back for everybody. Everybody. I mean, seriously. All the people who gave their life and, uh, and had faith in him and believed in him, believed that he was the son of man and believed he died on the cross for our sin. Everybody who accepted him as the Lord and Savior. He's not coming back for a race. Y'all need to stop with this whole Jesus this, Jesus it look like this and look like you. Like, No. Like, for real, man. I, I'm tired of this, bro. She gonna get it. They think I got so much white privilege to tell people what to do, but she need to understand California is a black queen. And that's who I am. I will. I don't have a problem. She laughing is funny, but she need to understand and respect the queen when she see one in her face. Bow down, bitch. Because... Oh, man. 
man. I, no, no. <laughs> I'm done. I can't finish no more, y'all. I'm done. I know we we got one more minute. I'm done. I can't. I can't. I, I just truly can't, bro. This video was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Who are you? Who are you to tell her to bow down? You talking about white privilege? You the only person that's privileged in this in this piece. Only person. You getting up out of your seat, bro. What happened to you using the bathroom? That's why I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. We what? We 20 minutes into the video, and I'm still trying to figure out what happened to you using the bathroom. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. You, you, like, man, this. Oh my gosh! I just want people to love one another. I'm tired of, I'm tired of black people playing victim. I'm tired of them talking about race. I'm tired of them bringing up this junk. I'm tired of it, bro. Just love one another. Learn how to love, bro. Whether you know a person or not, just love them. Just love them because they're your brother and sister in Christ. Just love them. God love everybody. He don't just pick and choose who he loves. God know everything that happened in the world. He know about the slavery. He know about the whites and the, against the black. He know all that. But he still love everybody. No, like literally nobody cares about. No, I didn't care about nothing this woman was talking about. Nothing. It was nothing but hate and everything she was saying. No love. Nothing but straight hate. And I can't support that. I can't. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. This woman uh, needs to uh, really like... I, Seriously, I I pray that you get help. I pray that you truly seek seek Jesus. Just seek him fully. Don't care about the race. Don't care about just seek him. That's it. Just seek him. Anyways, man, I love y'all, man. Uh, this video was crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? What I'm going to do is your boy Depan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.